don't click under the influence. Cheers, Internet. We got me and Murder here, bringing you a great new episode this week. We've got Zombie Flux along with an awesome pairing of whiskey. I'm going to leave it to Phil to introduce those whiskeys. All right, so uh, I brought these two whiskeys for the uh, the tasting of the group today. We've got a, a 15-year Dalmore Scotch. It's a Highland whiskey. It's a Highland Scotch, so it's not the Peat Monsters or anything like that. They're they're very nice. They're very fiery and, and spicy, kind of rustic feeling. At least to me, I always like the Dalmore because of that. And uh, we brought this, the uh, the Angels MD. It's a bourbon <clears throat> that has been matured in um, weird weird casks that are not traditional for bourbon maturation and uh, the, the kind of result is a very strange tasting bourbon-y like thing that is very light and very nice and not what you'd ever expect out of bourbon but it's still really really good. We have this at a tasting and it was the prize if you impress the instructor. So, Zombie Flux is one of the more complex versions of Flux. We've got a bunch of special icons to introduce. First, you have your basic frowny face. Now, those frowny faces mean that this is a creeper card. One frowny face equals one creeper card. Now, you want to pay careful attention when they ask you to count things up, whether or not it's a frowny face or a skull, because the skulls count differently. This leads us right into talking about the skull icon. Skull icon is a zombie. Now there can be up to four zombies on a given card, so while it's one creeper, it can be four zombies. Or three, or two, or one. And finally, we've got the POW cards. These are weapon cards, but they are mostly potential weapons. They need a special rule to become active. Rachel will get into that sometime during the video. Now I'm not going to go into every card in detail, but I am going to go over the basics of play. To start off the game, every player starts with three cards, and the basic rules are to draw one card and play one card. These rules change as you play. So it starts out as draw one, play one, but it can be quickly become draw four, play one, draw four, play three, draw two, play four, any number of combinations. Now the game starts with no win condition, so it's a free-for-all right from the beginning. And of course, Creeper cards have to be played as soon as they enter your hand. Players are required to draw back up to the given number of cards. And those creepers don't count towards the play count. So let's say the play count is four and you draw three creepers right off the bat. Those three creepers don't count. You still have four more cards to play, not one. Zombie Flux also has the ungoal in it. Ungoals are just like goals except that instead of causing one player to win, they cause everybody to lose. Now there are special rule cards that allow a player to actually win in an ungoal scenario instead of losing. With all these shifting rules and dynamic gameplay, it's very difficult to come in with a strategy and play it out. So we're going to see how it all works out for us over the next few weeks. Talk to you soon, Ernest. Uh, well, we're starting with the Angels ending. Cheers! <laughs> we have our game dealt. We're gonna start play with Rachel. All right. Mmm. Taking it. Yeah. I really like the sherry mm. flavors. Ooh. That's actually kind of a complicated bourbon. Don't see that a lot. It's, it's not a burn so much as a thing. Yep. Yeah. It goes down. Alright, so creepers go down automatically? Creepers go down automatically and you draw back. So, draw back. Battle. Alright, so... Oh, fuck, you're oh, getting my luck! Oh, oh my god! This sucks! Who shuffled? I screwed myself. <laughs> Alright, now I am not too thrilled right now about slapping down four creepers right off the bat. My hope right now is that I can get one of those goal conditions that requires certain numbers of, of creepers to be or certain numbers of zombies to be right in front of me. But I think my best bet is going to be to figure out how to get rid of these. Because I shuffle. But you do have a trio and a pair, <laughs> so there, there's actually one that you Alright, so what is, alright, so I have a zombie, a zombie trio, and a pair of zombies, and yes, we know about the, uh... The four, the one where you have to get the four, three, two, one, 
the baseball team. <laughs> yeah, something like that. Yeah. Sure. Zombie baseball team is a goal card. You win if you have at least nine zombies in front of you along with the baseball bat. When they say nine zombies, they don't mean nine zombie cards. You can have the quartet and the trio and, you know, add up to mean nine zombies. Yeah. Okay, so. All right. It's just my shot. Yeah. All right, so. Blame yourself. Oh, wait, no, I need to back up now. All right. All right, are you allowed to hold keepers while you have keepers? Or... Yes! Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, okay. Yeah. All right, I'm going to play action. Draw uh, draw three, play two of them. Okay. So, card that. Draw one, two, three. Whatever. Draw three. Draw three. It gives them a little bit of a... Uh, All right. Cannon. Somehow Rachel always gets these draw X, play Y cards. Hmm? Yeah, I'm kind of small on that. Creepers like creepers? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, banana. creepers, if you draw a creeper at any point, you have to play it immediately and redraw the... To... Wow. Wow. This kind of sucks. Let's see if I can use it to my advantage. You have one, two ones, one, two, what, one, two, two, two. She actually does have Three the baseball team, though, if she can... <laughs> Wow. If she has the goal, she wins immediately. <laughs> oh yes, and if at any point the game ends, we have to finish our drinks immediately. Alright, wow. I'm going first. That could be dangerous. Well, if it ends in the first hand, yeah. Oh, <laughs> dude, that oh, you have it. A little bit of a disclaimer, we'd never waste good whiskey chugging it just because the game ended. We're gonna stop the game and sip for a while. What? No, I don't. <laughs> I, I think that winning in the first hand will, uh, winning too, too early would belay that rule. Yeah. Alright, well first off, I'm gonna play draw two and use them of my draw three. Okay, seriously? How does she do that? Oh use my god. Two. So draw two. We, we had to create the rule uh, for slow people. Alright, mm -hmm. I have to use that one. Mm -hmm. So hand limit one, everybody. I guess if I had a play style for Flux, it would be to completely screw people over, not necessarily to win. And I have a goal of they fear fire. So if you have lumber and a can of gasoline. So. Oh, yeah, I gotta do something with Larry. Yeah. I got a zombie, Larry the zombie, a trio of zombies, and a pair of zombies. The Boy Scouts. Uh, <coughs> I can't win it's... if I have Larry. Larry. Uh, move this card in the counter turn direction and turn the goal chance. Oh. Oh, good. <laughs> I was like, discarding some Wait. goals. Oh, yeah, that's right. Oh, yes, and read out the zombies you started with. I have a zombie, another zombie. I've got a doctor zombie, a ballerina zombie, a pair of zombies, which is a nurse, ratchet, and her crotchy patient. Another pair of zombies, a hooligan zombies, a zombie trio, and a zombie coordinate. All right, so four tops. Yeah. All right, and now I'm going to play my second of <laughs> draw three, play two, and it's going to be zombie jamboree. Gather up all the keepers and creepers on the table, shuffle them together, and deal them back out to all players, starting with yourself. So keepers and creepers. Both. Oh, everything. Creepers. So we all get creepers. <laughs> All right, now this is kind of cool. I'm thinking this could actually work out for me. If the deal doesn't go too long, I might be able to get one, get rid of one or two of my creepers. Yay! So keep your legs flexing and your arms T-Rex and do the cool. <laughs> That's a song in their hearts. Oh, yeah. 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 Awesome. One, two, three zombies. Uh, Sorry, one zombie. Two, two pair of... <laughs> a single, a pair, and a trio. Two pair beats a triple? What? He's got a zombie streetwalker. Sweet. I got a... I got a straight. Okay. I got scientist zombie. And what did you discard of your uh, draw two, play three? Uh, I discarded... Hand limit two. two. Oh. So I could have changed it to hand limit two, but... Because... So you could have kept something? Yeah. But... Anyway, mine is... You're up. Right. Draw one, play one. Handle that one. Uh, I think we need to change up the call. We're alright! 
So if you have two friends and no zombies... There are a lot of zombies on the table, and with this many zombies, I'm thinking it's going to be a tough game to win. And I get Larry. You do get Larry. Get her done! <laughs> I'm sure he'd be obnoxious even as a zombie. You also want to have that bitch in the hall night that Larry has there. Alright, I'm going to say that the uh, shuffle is not on the table. So now you can kill a zombie with that, right? It says pow, I don't know what that means. Play this card, play it. No, no, it doesn't say anything about kill, using it to kill a zombie yet. Um, what does pow mean then? Alright. The pow icon on certain cards, or keeper cards, has the potential to kill a zombie when the weapon bonus new rule is in play. <laughs> Are you envious uh, of people that have more envy? I'm just gonna change the rule. Shotgun! <laughs> you get the creeper. Say <laughs> This is the RIT table. Oh. This is the RIT oh. table! Go Tigers! Well, no, you didn't. Go. Yes, I did, motherfucker. <laughs> I, <thought> you... <laughs> I swear to God, I'm not flipping him off there. I have a class ring, and it was my ring finger. I graduated in 2009. No Alright, I'm gonna Alright, the Sonic Tranquilizer. So I can explain the zombies. You can't ignore all the zombies? Uh, any zombies. But I can pick and choose which ones I want to ignore. Okay. Sure. Hello. Awesome. Mine? Mine? Alright. Should I wait? Yes, oh, you um, need to wait. Okay. Uh, as I've, I'm kind of nursing mine at this point, so I can finish. Yeah. Yeah, oh, so, I have another single zombie. Ooh! I have like, another Alice. single zombie. <laughs> And now the postal guy. There you go. I'm not sure I've ever seen this many zombies on the table. Phil. Phil. Don't acknowledge it. You just. <sighs> you know, I'm going to play this. They heard Michael Jackson, Jackson, Jackson was in town. Use what you take, take a card from at random from another player's hand and play it. So whose card do you want to take? I'm taking Trent's. <laughs> no mercy! A new goal! Oh! Oh, you win if your creepers include a zombie, a pair, a trio, and a quartet. Well, that means I move Larry over. You move Larry over. Larry moves! You are one card from winning. I yeah. am one card from winning. Alright, well, I let's draw one to play one, so I... Oh, one goal! Zombie victory! Oh! Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. This could end poorly. Read the card. Oh, if there are at least five zombie creeper cards on the table and all players have at least one, the game ends with no winner. Yep. Oh, yeah, all right. Yeah, yeah. We all win! It's good. And this is the way it goes. Ouch. So that didn't go so well for us. Well, we still have the Dalmore 15 to try, and we got a bit more Zombie Flux to play, so we'll see you next week as we play that. Hopefully it goes better for us next time. Stay classy, and be sure to drink responsibly. Cheers, Internet. It's Leviosa, not Leviosa.